Hi, this is Kurt Jacobs, founder and host of Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs, and we're here at the Idea Festival with Nat Irvin. He is a futurist, author, innovator, and teacher, and we want to ask him a few words about the Idea Festival today and about his travels. So what has inspired you on your career path? I think, uh, Kurt, the, the best answer is the best books, you know, reading a lot of books, meeting a lot of interesting people. And I think the intersection of meeting interesting people and reading good books means that you start to find things within yourself that you didn't know existed. Right. So I'd say the easiest way to think about uh, being inspired is to be around people who will inspire you with new ideas. Then, of course, as I said, reading interesting books. I read a lot. Okay. All right. I try to read a new book every 10 days. Wow. And so, and I have a great list of friends who recommend books. And so a lot of my ideas about the future, a lot of my ideas about what I teach mm -hmm. come from things that I read talks that I'll listen to, um, intersecting intersecting with people whose opinions I may not have heard before, or ideas I may not have heard before. So it's a whole variety of meeting different kinds of people, the intersection. Now you do audio books or the real deal? I, I use the old school books. Yeah, I don't particularly, That's great. I don't particularly care for the uh, electronic books. Okay. I, 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 I mean, I will listen to books from time to time, but when I really want to understand an idea, it is me with the book with a pen, writing, taking notes, the old fashioned way, going into my mind. If I really want to understand a concept, I listen to it. That is, I will read it, I will write about it, I will experiment with it, I will touch it, I work with it. So I like the old fashioned books, yes. In the hopes for your best dreams in say 40 or 50 years, basically your legacy for your hopes and dreams, what would that look like in your mind? Oh, that's a great question. I can tell you, it looks like young people who have grown up. Okay. They're like sequoias all over the world that I've had a chance to impact. And they've grown up into their own fullness of themselves. And that I had some small uh, part of impact in that and helping them to become that sequoia tree that would then give birth to other sequoia trees or tall oak trees that give birth to acorns that didn't grow. I'm just basically hoping to repopulate a forest of people smart who want to make the world better. That's what I'm That's after. That's all I'm after, man. <laughs> That's a great metaphor. Now, what have you found so exciting about the Idea Festival so far? Well, of course, this is the first day, which is Thravels. And so the thing that always inspires you if you come to Thravels is going to be the quality of the interaction with young people. They're very smart. And it's particularly true for young minority kids who oftentimes are overlooked, who people don't think they have great ideas. They're absolutely brilliant. Okay, Just absolutely brilliant. When you hear them in their space, you'll see, look at the intellect. This is a potential person who's going to cure cancer. Here's a person who's going to figure out the ethics about artificial intelligence. Here's a person who's going to remake capitalism. Here's a person who's going to create a platform better than Facebook. Who's going to be somebody here who's going to figure That's out very true. To, to fix the water? who's going to fix the air, who's going to find new ways for us to govern ourselves. That's the key thing that boomers, older people don't understand, is that the future is literally the young people. It's not the boomers. Young people have a better understanding of how to do things, redesign things, simpler, quicker, using technology. And they do it better. Some of us need to move on. That's a great answer to that question. Now, this next one's more of a like 30,000 foot up type question in terms of, the, well, they kind of have been, but a little more introspective in my opinion. In terms of your industry, your profession, yeah. whether it's innovation or futurist or author, what do you see of a change coming on the horizon that may or may not be beneficial to the industry? Well, I would say this, that when you think about the future, here are a few things that are definite. That's the way to think about the future, the things that are given. The number one thing facing America is the demographic singularity, which I've written about, which is when the shift in America goes from being majority white to majority non-white. And we're well underway, and that's going to, that's going to be like a social hurricane. Okay? And that's going to be for some time, and people have got to get used to that. And we're not used to that. America's never had it, but America's going to have to get used to that, okay? number one. Number two, the other thing is we're aging rapidly. Aging is the most powerful force facing the future, not just in this country, but around the world. People don't understand this, Kurt. No, okay? they, don't. they don't understand this. My students don't understand it. You can tell them, but people don't fundamentally understand the mathematics of aging. Aging impacts every economy, it, every system. It, it, it impacts the, the, work, the way that we work. Uh, instead of having uh, daycare centers, we'll have senior care centers. Now that means that employees have got to begin taking care of their parents. Oh, that's a whole different thing. It is also going to challenge some of our uh, long-held beliefs about what, what are rights. People think about health care as not a right, it's not a right. Wait till you have to take care of your parents. 
Okay, wait till you have to take That's care the of old. Rip. Then of you're going to start to think, how do I do this? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to see that we're all tied together. These these ways that we have thought about things, they're based on a much younger population. Mm -hmm. Children and people having children. I can tell you, people who are looking at this interview now, mm -hmm. if I ask them how many children do they have in their family, most of them are going to say two, maybe one. Right. If the older you get, the older you are, the more likely you would have had three or four. Mm -hmm. The younger you are, the more likely you would have had one. Okay. Now, that's unsustainable mathematically on the old way that we've had life mm -hmm. structures. That's all economic systems that way. It's not, it's not sustainable. It's not. Okay. It's, it's, it's just mathematics. Okay. It, and then the other thing is we have to understand, which is why I put this in context of the demographic singularity. Those people who will be taking care of the future, mm -hmm. they're not white. They're, they're, they're non-white. They're brown. Yep. They're, they're other, they're, and of course, they'll be white as well. But that means we've got to invest in that. Otherwise, we're done. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not personal. Okay, that's it. It's not personal. It's mathematics. Okay. Okay, it's mathematics. If you're not there, you can't have an impact on the future. If you are there, you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you are. There you are. Uh, there you are. Straight from the futurist's mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is our signature question that we ask in our more traditional style of interview. But when the great day comes, Nat, how do you want to be remembered? You know, God forbid it all ended today. How do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as a great husband, great father, great friend. Main thing is though, even as a great husband, is I want, to, I want my children to rem remember me as having loved them, nurtured them, but not only them, others as well. So that's the main thing. Family you gotta start off with first. Nat, thank you for being on Moxie Talk. I appreciate you spending some time with it. My great honor. And all the best to you, all right? Thank you. All right, all right. thank you. And that's Kurt Jacobs with Moxie Talk from the Idea Festival.